What you guys got another video Microsoft the blocking Windows 11 install on unsupported hardware. Now this was published on Desk Modder's website. Now these are a pretty reputable website that come up with a lot of good information about what's happening inside Windows. So Windows 11 version 25905 was trying to be installed on a computer system that doesn't support Windows 11. The CPU in case was a Core 2 Duo T6500 and they also tried it on the AMD Aterial 2 P650 which was identical issue it wouldn't install and previously it's worked on these systems so Microsoft are starting to block uh, the installation or finding a way to block it by using this method they've also blocked Rufus Ventoy and also other methods with this particular version of Windows now also swapping the install.wim file over with previous older builds also doesn't work and that's also been blocked as well by Microsoft. So this is a testing phase for Microsoft right now and this could be rolled out for all of the processors which would then make it impossible to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So maybe they are starting to clamp down on this ready for the next release of Windows 12 Remember, this is just the testing phase right now, and this could be rolled out for all of the processors in the list, which means you will not be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware in the future if that's what Microsoft are intending to do. Now, it's not written in stone as of yet. We still don't know whether Microsoft are committing to blocking unsupported hardware for Windows 11. We still have to wait to see whether they roll it out across all of the CPUs in their unsupported CPU list, which there's quite a few of them. They've also removed quite a few previously supported CPUs from that list, which is quite concerning because this uh, unsupported hardware list could be growing even more. And we just have to wait and see. But to be honest, it's getting out of hand. And I think a lot of people are going to be left with no alternative but to use a Linux operating system or even installing Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2021 or something along those lines to get an extended life expectancy of their PC because the Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2021 has a end of life up until 2035. Now, of course, this is designed for businesses and things like that, but other people will find the need to extend the life of their PC rather than buy a new one or maybe they just can't buy a new computer to install Windows 11 on if Microsoft completely block out Windows 11 from being installed on unsupported hardware. Now what I can see happening is a lot of countries that are not as fortunate as say the UK or the United States to name the two but there's a lot of countries out there that are going to be forced to use that old computer with an old outdated version of Windows that is not getting any support anymore unless they convert to Linux. But not everyone wants to use Linux. So that's going to force these people to make a tough choice either to use a, an outdated version of Windows without getting any updates for it. And that is a bad step back for Microsoft because I thought the whole idea of Microsoft and Windows was to make it more secure and to eradicate malware and stop it from attacking people's computers. But not everyone can afford a brand new computer, and that's the thing. Now, I think Microsoft have been a bit lax and they haven't been pressuring people to not install unsupported hardware, but there is tons of people that have got older computers that does not support Windows 11. And I think if you're on Windows 11 now on unsupported hardware, then there's a possibility that in the future, Microsoft could block updates or something like that to force you to get off that platform and reinstall Windows 10 until end of life or replace your computer. It seems a bit pointless forcing people uh, to not install Windows 11 when a lot of people are probably on Windows 11 already on unsupported hardware. And again, once you know that you can't reinstall it, you're pretty much going to be done for unless possibly you could make a clone of that operating system and that drive and then just reinstall it that way with a brand new uh, clone on the, the drive. I'm not sure if that would work, whether you would be able to clone it straight over or whether that would get blocked. I really don't know. But if you're not going to be able to install Windows 11 uh, very shortly on unsupported hardware, then you're pretty much done for really 
because uh, you're going to have to reinstall Windows at some point. And again, if you ever have a problem and you have to use reset this PC or something along those lines, that is not going to work because it's going to detect that your CPU is not supported and you are done for. You're going to have to use another operating system, whether it be Windows 10 or whether it will be Linux or whatever. Now, I think this is pretty big news and I wanted to bring it to your attention, but I know Microsoft haven't implemented this 100% yet across the board for all unsupported CPUs, but it's quite concerning to know that they are testing with certain lower end CPUs first, and then they'll maybe roll this out right across the board with all of the CPUs on that list that are not supported. So be wary if you have got a system that doesn't have a right CPU in it that has unsupported hardware and you have a lot of data on there and things like that. You just never know what lengths Microsoft are going to go to. So I'd make sure you make a backup of all your system uh, just in case something does go wrong and they do start forcing uh, this on people very shortly, especially if they're going to be bringing out a new operating system next year. I'm pretty sure they're going to want to lock that down uh, so people can't use it on unsupported hardware. Maybe that's what their plan is, is to let it go for Windows 11 and really implement this on the next OS when it's released. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Just a quick update on the latest tech news for Windows. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this and whether you're using a computer with unsupported hardware right now with Windows 11 on it. I'd be interested to read your comments. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.